Hi guys, Annette here again. I'm going to do one more pearl pearl for tonight. It's also called floating pearls. Um, the effect you can see here from the one I did the other day with the Arteza paints. And the metallics have now all dried beautifully around the outside, as well as in the middle there. But it looks like they're floating around. It's very pretty effect and very shimmery with the extreme sheen. Um, that day I also did another one off camera and I did blues and greens and that's that one. The blue uh, extreme sheen actually has some shimmer silver in it as well. So it's quite gorgeous too. So tonight I am going to do a larger canvas. This one is a 40 by 40 centimetre. There's formulas you can find online and I'll try and remember to put it below the video for you as well for how much paint and pour medium you mix per canvas size. For this 40 centimetre by 47 metre it's about 700 mils in total. Um, on the back of mine I've just um, put some painters tape around to help protect it a little bit uh, when it's all dry you can just peel that off and it makes it look a little bit neater it's not necessary of course because art is messy and especially paint pouring um, in the corners we have some jumbo push pins which are awesome for holding on to while you're tilting um, I get mine at amazon.com.au uh, um, I live about 200 Oh, sorry, I mean two hours north of Cairns, which is um, my nearest major city. And the office works down there also carry these, but they're often out of stock because they're quite popular. All right, I'll just move that aside for a second. Right. So, tonight, my colours are mixed with the Australian Flow Troll, which is just a paint conditioner, but it, um, in the acrylic pouring world or the flow up world, we use it. As a pouring medium, uh, it's quite cost effective. In Australia, it's about $56 for four litres, whereas a commercially made pouring medium can be about that price for one litre. So, my colours tonight are mixed with two parts flow troll and one part paint. So, that just means that if you have 60 grams of paint, you mix 120 grams of flow troll in it and when you mix it you mix really really well you scrape it around and down in the bottom as well so tonight i'm going for reds and purples um we'll see how we go with it here we have some arteza mars black i'll be using liquitex basics dioxazine purple Liquitex Basics Deep Violet and then I have some Arteza paints I have Crimson Red Arteza and Scarlet Red also in Arteza and also Arteza Titanium White so I'm thinking I'll go black dark purple, light purple Deep red, mid red, white, and just see how we go with those. I've, I've not really used too many whites before, but I like the last one I did. And my te metallics tonight, I have Extreme Sheen by Deco Art Americana, and I've got the 24 karat gold. And my Dazzling Metallic in Copper by Deco Art as well. The metallics are mixed um, one part paint to one part flow troll um, I found these were a little bit thick I don't know whether it's my weather up here but I went for one and a half of flow troll and the only other difference is the colors uh, the Atezas and the, the uh, Liquidex basics I also added um, 10 grams of water uh, to get the right consistency the consistency being the thickness of it so you just check it you might add six mils in one you might add 10 mils in the other just till they all look the same when you stir them and the metallics don't have any water in them just the flow troll okay, so I'll just get my paints up here and there's 
is my two metallics. Um, okay, I'm going to just layer the colours first into two polystyrene cups. The metallics actually go on the canvas first, but I'll layer these ones and get that done before I do the other. And we'll just make a lip on the polystyrene cup. And I'm thinking I might put the purple and the black in one and the reds in the other. Uh, I'll start with the black, I think. Maybe a third of that, I reckon. And then the dioxys in purple. Violet, back to black. What I'm hoping to have is the dark colours towards the outside so that the metallics will pop up through it. Um, dioxys in purple, and the gorgeous violet. And just end in a tiny bit of black. To use these muffin trays to hold my cups just because I'm a klutz. <laughs> Alright, and this one will have white first. And then the dark red. And the bright red. White. Dark red. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these paints. I'll just see how I go and how they look once I've got them on the canvas. And lastly, some more white. I'll just scrub that last little bit in. I think I'll put the dark colours down first, followed by the, the reds, and then we'll see what they look like. I've got to change my mum on my midway through. We shall see. Just make sure it's in frame for you. Should be, I think. Okay. Alright. Do what I did last time, I think. Maybe for a K gold in the middle. Oh my gosh, this colour is so gorgeous. It just shimmers in the light. first, the purples and blacks. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Oh, a big blob of something just fell in. I'll try and fish it out a bit later. See what happens. As I said, I don't know how this is going to go. That's the beauty of fluid art. It's a, a lot of it is just experimental and just trying different things and see what you like. And a bit of colour knowledge helps, but you can always get that by using a colour wheel. And if by chance I don't like this, I've got enough paint there to um, add a little bit more 
but I just move them out of the way at the moment, as I said on before, and a bit klutzy sometimes. So I'm just going to roll the top colours over the metallics, and that helps the metallics then pop up through the other colours. So if you go nice and slow at first and just try and roll it a little bit, you can get the feel of the weight of the paint where it is. Oh, that purple is just so pretty. You know what? I, I don't know. I might add some more purple in the middle, but it's just gorgeous. change your mind, can't you? Yeah. I just really like the colour of it. I think next time I do one, I might just go for all those beautiful purple colours. Okay. Alright, let's start getting some of the paint off. So we might just go for that same color. Go towards the middle. Oh, this is going to be a lopsided one, I think. Interesting. you're going to get. Beautiful, but I think I like the purple. Sorry. Wow. Okay, this looks like it looks a little bit off on this side down here. pushing it to get it off the side, but I'll just try. You never know. I'm just going slowly. on the pearl part. I don't know. Okay, let's just go a little bit more. I don't know how this will go. You can only try. stretched it which is what happened with the side down here. I think I might just do a 
that ring cord over the top. And get rid of it all together. Now this is just some Floetrol mixed with our Tezza Gold. Keeping these from high up. Just to mix it all up. And let's try, have a look and see what we get. That, um, that was my fault. I've overstretched trying to get rid of the red colour. And it's made the curls all look a bit wonky and weird. And so you've got a choice. You can keep it and hope somebody likes it. Tip it off. Repour over the top. Scrape it off. This one's going to be mainly red by the look of it. That's okay. Let's do another little line. And we'll see what happens with this one. So we're not likely to get pearls this time. It's good for you guys to see how everything goes to plan. I was trying to show my daughter how to do pearl technique up in Darwin and for some reason up there it just would not work properly. I don't know if it's the water, the heat. <laughs> um, and there's human error, like mine tonight. Sometimes your paint's off, sometimes you get a bad flow troll. That's just a big long cord curl. And I think as somebody in the past who's tried to paint and make things perfect, this art form is excellent for me because it isn't perfect and you do make mistakes. Sometimes the paint will just do its own thing and there's nothing you can do about it. Just trying to get this feather centered a little bit. I actually quite like that. Not what I was hoping for. But quite pretty, just the same. Alright, I am going to give this a torch and um, we'll see if any of those metallic colours actually pop up through anyway, even though I've made a big mess. Get rid of some of these bubbles. Self torch. It does look like some of the metallics are popping up, but I don't, I don't know that it's going to be the full on pearl effect that usually would happen. Interesting anyway. Let's see what happens. 